Good morning, Jenny, <coughs> and I'll be talking. My claim is that Walmart has a significant negative effect in society. And I'll be talking about how Walmart harms other businesses and <coughs> harms society and how they exploit their employees. So firstly, they harm the other businesses by killing the mom and pop stores. And as many of you know, like, when they, as Walmart comes into a community, they force everybody out. So <clears throat> all the small businesses that cannot be competed with the big retailers, they are they will be forced out like eventually. And also all the special specialty retailers compete with for the lower price. And for example, as of like, like right now, the Best Buy is competing for the lower price for computers with Walmart. And the Walmart um, they claim that they create more jobs by hiring people all the time, but they actually destroy, destroy more jobs by creating by closing all the other businesses around the town. And secondly, the Walmart harms society as the individual and the town, the town itself, and the country and the world. And firstly, um, as individual, the Walmart includes the crime in the parking lot and. The 80% of crimes happen in the parking lot, and mostly they're in the Walmart parking lot, and that's because they don't provide um, the security on the parking lot. And the irony is that they have over 200 security cameras uh, in the store, and around like four securities in the store, but they don't have any in the parking lot. And for example, Megan Holden was abducted and murdered in the store parking lot and was her body was found 400 miles away from the store. And her saying her, get, her getting abducted was captured in the security camera. But the problem was that no one was watching the camera. So there's no point of having the security camera in the parking lot. And <coughs> the Greg, Gary Zorri, he's an attorney, and he stated that if people are creating profits before safety, they're putting profits people's human rights, and that's what the law rights is doing, what, is, what they're doing. And the law as county, like they harm the county because they get subsidies from the government. And in 2004, they got over a billion dollars in nation, and with that money, they could have, like for example, like in Denver, Colorado, the government gave 1.7 million dollars to Walmart, and with that money, they could have kept the uh, three schools open that were closed down at around that time. And in Capital City in California, there were short enforcement, firemen, and they had to eliminate their recreation division in the city because of the Walmart association. And they also harmed the environment. Um, and al almost every Walmart in every state, they violate the clean water policy, and they're very unresponsive and in that in the environment area. And around the world, they have a lot of factories in like China, Honduras, Mexico, and like Bangladesh. And they abuse the factory workers by making them work seven, fourteen hours a day for seven days a week for three.
she was she wanted to come over for six years and she did everything on her major school at the school. And when she was looking to get promoted, the major really told her that there's no place in management for people like her because she's both woman and a black. I hope the woman doesn't offer any benefits or no or little health benefits for the employees. And they take a percentage of the government programs, such as Medicaid and we. And Medicaid is the U.S. health program for eligible individuals and families with low income. And we is the, they provide the like supplement for the event for low income females. And Walmart is them as the program to benefit. And All right, Jenny, the proposition is clearly stated. Uh, your secondary claims, when you present them, it sounds like it is an expository statement instead of a declarative statement. So you want a declarative statement. You know, Walmart harms their employees. Instead, you say, I'm going to show you how Walmart harms their employees. And that makes it sound like it's an informative speech instead of an argument. Um, the uh, supporting points... I don't know that you listed them all in the preview. It sounded like you ended up having four of them by the end of the speech, and originally it sounded like there were going to be two. Uh, you got onto an environmental issue and then uh, uh, the health benefits issue at the end, and I don't remember that they were in the uh, preview. Uh, you, you go through the first point very quickly. I didn't really see much evidence in that particular point. Uh, the information about safety You've got a single example that you're making a reference to, and how it's generalizable to Walmart, I'm not sure, because any time a crime occurs and whoever is there, you know, wherever it occurs, is that their responsibility? So, for instance, is Cal Poly dangerous to its students because somebody gets mugged on campus or killed? Certainly it's a bad thing that such a thing would happen, but is it the fault of the university because they didn't have somebody watching a camera someplace? And by the way, the lawyer that you quoted on that, I'd be interested to know if that's the lawyer representing the family that's suing Walmart, uh, because that might suggest that there is potential bias in the opinion on that one. Uh, the other example that you had was the employee who was told that she, there was no place for her in management because she was black and a woman. Uh, I got dollars to donuts that says that if that was the case, somebody said that to her, she sued their asses off, and uh, she's made a lot of money off of this. If this is Walmart's policy, there's got to be more information on this. I think there's a class action lawsuit that you could use to prove this particular point. The biggest problem that I have with the, the information is you make a lot of claims and then don't support them, don't provide much evidence. We've got a couple of examples here and there. Uh, the whole thing about health benefits, I'm not sure why it's Walmart's responsibility and how it's different, for instance, from any other company. And at the end, you've got an advocacy claim instead of a claim of fact that says we shouldn't shop at Walmart. Well, you know. What's the consequence of not shopping at Walmart? If we stop shopping at Walmart, will they start giving their employees health care benefits? Will they start uh, putting in cameras and monitoring them? Will they uh, suddenly you know, start paying their employees in uh, sweatshops in China more money? That seems to be what the implication is, and I'm not sure that you've got any proof that those would be the consequences. My guess would be it would be more likely the announcement that we had yesterday. All right. Thank you.